drop the brace. What's up, guys? It's Ryan and Mike here from Full House RS, and you are watching our Fish Flingers guide. Hi. So, Fish Flingers is a fishing mini game that you can do at a minimum of two times a day. While you can also collect two tickets per day from the fishermen, you can also get tickets by fishing normally in RuneScape. They're pretty random, and sometimes you'll get a lot of them, sometimes you won't get any. But you can get them, and it will give you additional Fish Flinger games if you're looking to do those. And basically how it works is you get tickets. You can claim them from any fisherman that is standing around the fishing spots all around RuneScape. He'll give you two a day as long as you talk to him. You have to talk to him or else you'll lose him for the day. And the max you can get is 15 tickets. Yeah, he has that big uh, D&D icon on top of his head. Can't really miss him. The best place to go that we usually do, at least, is Catherby. He's kind of like at the east side of the fishing spots. Yeah, next to the tree spot. And when you do fish flingers, first of all, you want to be in World 89, which I'm not sure if it's official, but it's definitely the fish flingers world. It is official. Okay. And you want to be in the French chat to fling fish. Which will be up on the screen right now. Yes. So basically what fish flingers is, is that you're kind of like fly fishing, and you have different baits, tackles, and weights that you can have on your fishing line, and they will affect the different types of fish that you get from each spot. And the basic gist of it is is that you want to get 100% combos on all of them, which means you want to have the right bait, the right tackle, and the right weight for every fish. And that's why you joined the FC, is so people can get it the 100% tackles really quickly, and you're not wasting most of the game trying to figure them out. Mm -hmm. And also there will be big fish that you will get once in a while. Uh, for maximum medals, you want to catch three big fish. If you don't catch the three big fish, you won't be able to get four medals, which is the max you can get in a game. And there are also assists, and basically you can't catch a big fish alone, so you need to rely on other people to help you, which is also a good reason to go to World 89. And so basically to get four medals per game, you need to have 100%ed all of the fish, have three big fish, and six assists. And that's why it's also advised to take a friend when you're going fishing, is so you can go to spots that aren't usually crowded sometimes at the end of the game, and you'll be able to get your big fishes and help each other with them. So you don't have to rely on somebody else. Yep, that's what we do. So basically, to start Fish Flingers, you want to talk to the fisherman who is at the D&D &D spots. We use Catherby. And you want to ask him how long until the next Fish Flingers game. And once the lobby opens, you want to go in. And at about four minutes until the game starts, you can claim a hint. And basically what the hints are is it gives you the f type of fish, the location of the fish, and one aspect of its bait, hook, or tackle. For and, these, and these fish change every game, so it's yeah, they will, not going to be the same every time. Yeah, so that's why you want to be in the French chat, to have a good compile every game. And basically, for the bait, he will tell you what it looks like. So there are worm-type creatures, moth-type creatures, shellfish, and leaping creatures. And each one is a different color, so worms are red, maggots are brown, locusts are green, crickets are brown, crayfish is gray, shrimp is red, green moth is green, and gray moth is gray. An example of the colors and the shape being part of the hint would be they say that they like red shellfish, in which case that would be red would be shrimp and shellfish would be shrimp, so... Mm -hmm. That's how you figure out what the hints are. Sometimes they are a little bit weird in the way they give their hints, so if you're confused about a hint, just ask somebody in the French chat and they'll tell you. 
for the hooks, he will only give you one type of hook unless it's bone wood. If it says they can spot metal a mile off, that means don't use a metal hook, which means to use either bone or wood. If he tells you to use a normal hook, that is the standard hook. If he says the species has a small mouth, it's slim. If it has a wide mouth, it's a large. And if it says a double hook will help, guess what it is, a double hook. The weights are what mess people up the most, because not much is one or two weight, and few is three or four. So you want to make sure you know the difference. Not much is one, two, and few is three, four. And then lots of weight is five, six. Once you've gotten your hint, you want to report it to the friends chat so that the person who is compiling can compile all the hints into one line of text so that everyone can use it and have it in one spot. And also to avoid being kicked by the dicks in the friends chat. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. At one minute to the beginning of the game, assuming you have a compiler, there will be a pre-compile. And basically what that is is... The compiler will gather all the hints that every player has gotten and put it into one text so that everyone can use it to help find the fish faster. And then a minute later, the game starts, the lobby opens its gates, and you'll be able to start fishing. And by the way, each fish has a unique hook, bait, and weight, so you can never have two fish with the same. So they're always different, and you can use that to help you find combinations faster. There are four locations throughout the map that you can get these fish at. Uh, towards the south is the docks, and to the middle west is the lake, and the middle east is the river, and far north is the beach. And typically people start at the dock because that's where the lobby is, and end at the beach because that's the furthest away from the dock, but you don't have to go in any specific order. So the goal of this is to catch all of your fish at 100%, Catch your three big fish and get your six assists. So basically the big fish, you'll get them pretty randomly. And once you get one, you can't get one for another minute. And also there can only be one big fish per spot that a player can stand. So if you're fishing under someone, the chance that you'll get a big fish is lowered. Which is why you always want to try and not stand on other people while you're going for big fish. To get your assists, you'll see bubbling water out in the distance. And you want to left-click it, and you will help someone reel in their big fish. You'll also get a bubbling spot for your own big fish. So that's how a typical game goes, but we have our own unique way of doing it that it just works for us on how to get the best points that we can. And we start it by going to the docks, as most people do, and we focus on getting our first combination 100%. And then we focus on getting our assists, because since there are so many people at the docks, big fish just show up pretty much every few seconds, and it's easy to get all six assists within, you know, 30 to 45 seconds. And they'll also be disappearing fast, because there's so many people assisting them. Also, another useful piece of information is that only eight people can assist one big fish. So if there's more than eight people, you'll get a message that you can't do it. Yeah, and if you ever click the big fish and you just don't move, that's because there's already eight people there, so it's not like lag or anything. Mm -hmm. So after you have all six of your assists, your main goal should be to try and find the heaviest fish. You can check if it's the heaviest fish or not by going to ratings, and then it'll say how heavy it is from heaviest to lightest. And then there are two averages, and a heavy and a light. So usually someone in the friends chat will call when they found the heaviest fish, but if you can't find it through the French chat, you just want to go from the docks to the lake to the river to the beach until you find the heaviest fish, and then you just want to stay there for a majority of the game until it becomes depleted. And you want to stay at the heaviest fish for as long as you can, and you want to try to catch your big fish while you're doing so. So in order to catch your big fish, though, you want to make sure that nobody is standing on top of you and you're not standing on anybody else. Once time begins to run down, you want to make sure that you get all of the 100% that you haven't gotten yet. Usually you want to leave the heaviest fishing spot at about a minute and a half, depending on how many 100% you have left. If the spot with the heaviest fish gets depleted, you want to move to the next heaviest fish, which sometimes the heaviest and the heavy will be in the same spot, in which case you'd want to move to average. 
As for how the point system works in fish flingers, it's basically the sum of six different factors. That is being the fish caught, how many big fishes you've caught, how many big fish you've assisted, how much total weight you've gotten, what your heaviest fish that you caught was, and how many perfect tackles you found. As for how many points these give, basically with fish caught, 130 gives you the max points, but that's very rare to get. You're typically going to get three points, which is 90 to 99 fish caught, or you're going to get four, which is 110 to 129. But it's just so you know that 130 is where the five comes in, the max that you can get on that category. For the big fish catches, they're each worth two points, so that gets six extra points there. For each big fish assisted, you get one point. For total weight, you want to get 10,000 total weight, and that will get you the max points on that, which is 20. The heaviest fish is pretty easy to get because everybody usually gets it, and it's 199 if you're fishing the heaviest spot, and that'll get you three points. And if you have all six perfect tackles, you'll get the max eight points on that. So the max total points you can get per game is 48, but you're generally going to get 45 to 46. And if you're really good, maybe 47. But sometimes, if you can get 48, you're you're doing something right. And also, the more points you get, the more experience you'll get, and the more tokens you'll get. Yeah, and it, it, the experience is factored onto your level. So the higher level, the more experience you're going to get, as long as you get, you know, more points. At 99, I get about 22k experience per game. And on my noob account, which is about level 70 fishing, I was getting about 16k. Yeah, at 80, I get about 17 to 18. So it's still really fun, and it's really good experience. It's a lot better than normal fishing. Way. So here are some helpful hints for fish flingers. Quick casting is used once you've gotten used to the game. And what it is is that as soon as you catch a fish, you recast your line. And basically what this does is it lets you catch fish faster but at a cost, because if you get a big fish and you hit cast, you'll get rid of your fish and lose it, which is really bad. So the basic way I use quick cast is when you get a big fish, you cannot get another big fish for another minute. So I quick cast during that minute, so I don't have to worry about quick casting away a big fish. And if I have all three, I don't have to worry about big fish anymore, so that's when I quick cast as well. Also, in the description, I'm going to have a link to a Google Docs that I use to compile. And basically what it'll do for you is it'll give you a nice way to format it for yourself. And it'll also auto-fill in things as long as you set it up properly. So if you have a f- two five sixes and you put six for one of them, it'll make the other one five automatically. It's pretty useful for getting full compiles really fast. Just remember, if you come in the top five in Fish Flingers, you get put on the podium... So by law, you are forced to say Yogopo and dance on it. And in case you're wondering, Yogopo stands for you only get podium once. And it's our way to celebrate the fact that you may never get on that podium again. So now on to the rewards. You can get the fisherman's outfit, which is kind of like the lumberjack, but for fishing. So it'll give you bonus fishing experience. It won't give you bonus experience while you're in fish flingers, but if you're fishing outside of it, sure it'll work. Mm -hmm. Also, you can get tackle boxes, and basically, for tackle boxes, you need medals and tokens. Basically, you can just get a tackle box and then keep upgrading it. The higher it's upgraded, the more raw fish it can hold, and with a Bunyet Familiar, it can be pretty useful for PVM, as the top tackle box can hold 30 raw fish, which is the equivalent of a pack yet. And to clarify, you actually need to upgrade the tackle boxes you can't just go straight for the last one there's also a reward to get raw fish but just don't ever get it i don't have to explain it just don't do it (laughs) it's terrible getting the champion's tackle box which requires 500 medals which is a pretty long time considering you can pretty much get eight medals per day and make sure before you start fish flingers to look up the the two fling fish thread and look up their rules so you don't break any and accidentally get kicked. Because playing the game without being in that French chat is pretty difficult. And that's about all you really need to know for Fish Flingers, guys. It's a pretty fun game. Gives you really good rewards, even though it doesn't seem like it at the beginning. Once you get into it, it is such an easy and such a fun game. And it's just something nice to do with a friend every once in a while. Right, Ryan? Yeah. 
But yeah, guys, that's uh, our guide. This is Mike and Ryan from Full House RS. See you next time.